Hello guys, Merlin here, and today we're going to be doing a dive into Hearthstone. Now, on my last video, I did the top five saddest places, of my opinion, of course, in World of Warcraft. Now, I have remade my Hearthstone deck for my Hunter, and that was due in part to a tournament I entered on Battlefly. Yeah, Battlefly, I think it is? Just a second, guys. Battle fight. Yep, on battle fight. Okay, and that was to enter into a qualifier to win an invitation to da -da 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 -da, the Hearthstone Master Tour in Indonesia. Now, that will be, do, 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 let's see, when is the details? Okay, it'll be played over three days. Day one will feature five rounds of Swiss pairings. Players will be dropped after receiving their third match loss. Players with three or more wins will advance to day two, which will feature four more Swiss pair roundings. After the conclusion of the Swiss rounds, the top eight players will advance into a single elimination playoff. The top eight players will return on day three to compete in the playoffs. And that will be... be okay, the qualifying is between December 12th and ends on January 26th. And that goes for the tournament that will be March, 20, or March 19th through the 22nd of next year. And my tournament that I will be recording and then uploading will be on December 27th. And I'll be uploading it that evening after I get home from work. And I will probably, since it's, I've found that it is now until January 26th, I will also probably be grabbing a couple more. But with that being said, I upgraded the Custom Hunter deck the Highlander Hunter by adding in a Dino Tamer Brawn and taking out the Carrion Drake. Now, I'm still running Baited Arrow, Marked Shot, uh, Hyena Alpha I'm a little iffy on. We'll see if I can get some worth out of him. Dire Frenzy, of course, I'm keeping. Untamed Beastmaster, of course. Unleash the Hounds. Snip Snap, of course. The Primordial Explorer, I love. You know, Battle Cry, Discover a Dragon. Master's Call, I'm still not 100% sold on. Kill Command, Hunter's Pack, Deadly Shot, Animal Companion, Zephyrus the Great, which you know is the key to the Highlander deck. Snipe, Scavenging Hyena, Pressure Plate, Misdirection, Hunting Mastiff, and all these lovelies. And I've even added Dwarven Sharpshooter. Okay, so, with that being said... Let's take the deck out for a test spin. Okay, do do do, custom hunter. And tonight we're probably going to be doing maybe one, two matches tops probably. And then that's when I'll probably end the stream. And I will be doing another stream tomorrow just to kind of get the kinks out of it. And I'll be streaming probably Hearthstone up until my tournament on the 27th. And I get Dino Tamer Brawn first hand. I love it, but it's too early. Alright, we're going to kick everybody out. Back into the deck they go. Randomizer spits out. Better. Marked shot would have been, you know, a little too early for that. So we end the turn because there's just nothing I can do at this point. Okay. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Alright. We are going to drop Snipe and pass the turn. Hopefully, I can blow up one of his minions so I can get one of my minions into play without much threat on the board. Okay, a coin. Three mana. Is it going to become a minion? It is. Okay. Did you just seriously swap the top card of your deck with your opponent's deck? Okay, what did I just get? <laughs> really? I don't know if I'm insulted or just kind of... Really? At the end of your turn, cast a spell you've cast this turn. Well, that helps with Master's Call, I guess. 
mean, it's not bad, but it was all for the sake of Vendetta. And, of course, you took my Primordial Explorer. Well, shit. Okay, I'm gonna mark shot my Primordial, probably. Just so I can get some shit going here. Plus, I'll discover a spell. So, bye bye And... Hmm. We're going to take Explosive Shot. And I'm going to end my turn. Now, I still have Archmage Vargon. It's not the best card in the world. It's not a horrible card in the world. So we'll see what we can't make do with. Okay, Hunter's Pack. And we're going to drop Freezing Trap. Pass the turn. Now, what I love about this deck is I went from being slightly offensive early on and completely keel-hauled it to go into defensive with Freezing Trap. And goodbye. And thankfully she's out of mana. So I get to do this. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to drop the Untamed Beastmaster. Now we're dropping him so that I can start drawing into my beasts and start pumping them up by plus two, plus two, unless, of course, she kills them. So she's going to weapon, she's going to swing, and she did. That's okay, she did one point of damage. I can top that. Tundra Rhino, Timberwolf. There you go, I just did four points of damage. And I'm gonna check something here, guys. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Kind of blaring in my eardrum there. Okay, but like I said, I will be focusing solely on Hearthstone during my streams over the next couple days. Once that tournament's over, I'll see how well I fare. First plot our first place gets a invitation to the Indonesia mm. tour there. Indonesia. I'm sorry, I said that really badly. And then I'll move probably into prepping the deck for whichever the next tournament would be. And I think I'm going to drop that. We're going to drop Dino Tamer Braun. He shits out King Crush. I swing. Pass the turn. Now she has more than likely wasted most of her, you know, free kills. You lack style. Whenever you draw a card, transform into a legendary minion. That's a nice card. I may have to create that just for my mage deck. Each player draws a card, swaps their costs. Okay. Well played. Well, my explosive trap just, you know, kind of became pretty expensive. And he just shuffled a shit ton of my King Crush. But I don't think that's going to help him because I still have this pretty much. I mean, this right here is going to do it. Bing, bang, bong. And that's game. You know, I didn't think one card would make that big a difference, but color me surprised. Just adding those two into my deck actually made a tremendous difference not only was i able to switch from offensive to defensive you know early on in the game but just dropping him right at turn seven my opponent was forced to try and deal with it but was not quite able i think to find the cards to kill it off now with this opening hand we got the hunting mastiff had hunter's hatchet and kill command i think we're gonna keep now, with Headhunter's Hatchet, if I control Beast card, I gain plus one durability, which I will take. And we're going to play Clear the Way. Summon three Rush minions. Reward summon a 4-4 Griffin with Rush. So we're going to drop that, pass the turn. Now, with that being said, I'm now going to hold on to the Hunting Mastiff in order to trigger it, you know, three times. Just for the shits and the giggles. And we're going to knock my opponent a little bit. On my next turn, depending on what he summons, we're probably going to drop Kill Command. 
just kind of start building up my forces. Oh, okay, yeah. I want that thing dead. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Alright. We're gonna blast that. End the turn. I have no will to go after Voidwalker at this point. I really wanted that thing gone. Because that thing doesn't just get a pump from when his creatures die. Whenever one of mine dies, it gets a pump. Okay, so Rafam's scheme ended with three 1-1 one -one imps. If you control secret, which I do not at this point, so... We're going to Headhunter's Hatchet. Pressure Plate. Swing there, pass the turn. Now, I do not control secret. Hopefully my opponent will not play a minion to trigger. Or play a spell, I should say, to trigger. Just swing at me. Come on. Come on. Please, please, and thank you. Ouch. And play a spell, yes? Nope. Okay, good. Spend all your mana there. And I'm going to drop Hyena Alpha. Kill that off. Pass the turn. Now, he has the minions on field to kill my monsters. But it's going to take all of his minions. Which, if, I wouldn't be surprised if he just kind of, you know... Oh. This may go badly. Yep. Okay. And that was interesting. I guess he's doing it right. And we trade. He now has an 8-3. He's going to take two points of damage and draw. I think just for the giggles, we're going to kill that thing off. And we're going to drop the Untamed Beastmaster. My go-to ace in the hole. Now, I'm sure he has cards in hand that could kill my Beast Tamer. Hopefully not. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. But... I will act as your okay. He's going to hide behind that thing. Sure. And... I'm going to drop this. I'm going to have that kill that. I'm going to swing there. Pass the turn. Now, on my next move, I'm going to be summoning the Hunting Mastiff. It's probably no big deal. He's going to kill off my Wyvern. with a. I would go for a 1-1. Okay. I mean, you know, 1-1, one, one, kill a 5-1. You know, I would gladly trade a 1-1 one, one for a 5-1. He now has 5 out of 7 mana. He used this to try and play the uh, Lackey Lotto. Okay, Witchy Lackey, transform. Psst. Tink Master, I wouldn't say that's much of an upgrade. I mean, I wouldn't, in fact, call that an upgrade at all. But that's just me. Okay. That's an upgrade. My turn now. He has one mana left. Nobody else can swing. My turn. And I drew Timberwolf. Perfect. Okay, we're going to unleash the griffin. We're going to drop this. That's going to trigger. I now get a 4-4 griffin with rush. So we're going to trade there. I'm going to have my griffin take that down. And yeah, I'm going to end my turn. Because pretty much everything else on the field is pretty well set. Now, granted my griffin is now a 4-1. But I was able to get rid of two massive board threats on his side. While still leaving a 3-3 lackey. But, you know... A tit for a tad, I guess. Now on my next turn, I'm probably going to drop Timberwolf. And pump these guys. Since they're beasties. That's assuming they... I was going to say, that's assuming they live through the turn. 
Come on, dude, play a spell. You know you want to. You are a warlock deck. Play a spell. Come on. Okay. Play a spell now. Huh, a warlock deck that is not running spell. I'm amazed. Nope. Still no spell. Wow. Okay, we're going to drop Hunter's Pack. And... We are gonna... One drop Freezing Trap. And then... We're going to... Blast my opponent. Drop this. And we're going to swing, pass the turn. Let's see, three, six, nine, seventeen, oof. That is more than likely enough to kill me. Yes, play a spell. Please hit the 8-8. Eight eight. Please hit the 8-8. Eight eight. Come on. Come on. And my spell triggers. Hit the 9-8, please. Nope. Shit. Well, that sucked. Okay. I may lose this match. I'm perfectly okay with that. Let's see. He has more than enough damage to kill me. Unless, of course, that happens. And his big guy's gone. I take 9. I take 4. Yeah, I am totally, utterly... Dead. Okay. So, as long as I don't run into a Warlock Lackey deck, which I probably will, all in all, I didn't do too badly. I'm almost done with two quests, so that's not bad. Okay. Now, with that being said, guys, I will be further customizing the deck, adding some cheaper cards, probably trying to get some quests done so I can crack some more packs, get some better cards, like, uh, Veronis. Um, I will see you guys on the next stream. If you guys like the videos I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I go live. Also, give me a like on the video. Help support the channel. Hit me out in the comment section below so I can know what videos you guys would like to see in the future. Give me a shout out and I will catch you guys on the next upload.